Hey guys, it's Doc. I'm gonna do a quick review about manual aerators for your lawn. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, it's Doc. And uh, if you haven't watched the full aeration video for Bermuda grass or for any lawn really, watch that video. I just put it up uh, yesterday, I think it was. But I use, uh, I rented one of the big 27 inch aerators and uh, man, that thing's a beast. And watch that video, it's a good video, which talks about um, aerating your lawn. I'm also, in the background, if you hear a sprinkler running, I'm actually getting ready to shoot a sprinkler review. I've been looking for, I've got areas on my lawn that just aren't real good for my, um, my in-ground sprinkler system. So I just bought a new sprinkler uh, and fantastic. So I'll give you, the, I'll do the video on that next. So anyways, let's talk about, um, whether you want to, you have a small, small piece of grass or you want to just do it by hand, or if you rent an aerator and you want to do some small spots, where these things really come in handy, these hand aerators and core pullers, is if you've got hot spots. If you've got construction debris under your lawn or you've got a spot that just dries out consistently, you can actually pull the cores and leave them open or fill those cores up with organic matter that's going to hold a little bit more moisture. So I use it for a bunch of stuff. I use it for my hot spots this year. I'm gonna be doing a video about treating hot spots with actually these hand, hand core, hand aerators, how I do that and how I get them to revive themselves. So I've got two products. Number one is uh, the Weasel. It's made by Weasel, the Garden Weasel. Both of these products, uh, I think they're about the same price, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna put up a link on Amazon, by the way, for both these products, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. This other one is, uh, is made by the Yard Butler, and uh, it's, uh, it's almost a solid steel. Now, the difference between these two, there isn't much of a difference. This is more, the Weasel is more of a tubular construction, I will say that, where this is a solid metal construction. Construction, um, and I hit a lot of rocks when I do this, so I got to make sure I've been doing a lot of testing with them. So far, they've both held up to rocks. But I do have a preference for one of them, and I'll tell you why. Um, <clears throat> they both pull, they both pull about the same size core, roughly, as far as the diameter goes. Um, but this one, I don't know if you can see that. The one by the Yard Butler actually pulls a little bit longer core, and I'll show you why I like that. I actually use these things when I'm going to do soil tests, and I'm doing a video on that as well, too. Um, but I like to use, uh, when I do soil samples around the yard, I do not like to just go dig a hole and take a soil sample. What I do is I break my yard apart in regions or sectors, and I pull these plugs, and I take the lower inch of those plugs, and that's how I get my soil sample test. It's a really good way to get a pattern. Instead of digging in a spot where a dog might have peed, um, I go out and I pull a general area, general area in the lawn, and get a real good soil sample that way. So let me just show you how these work real quick. Another rock. Man, I'm just full of rocks today. Another rock. Here we go. So you can see I'm getting, so you can see I'm getting good cores here. But you get nice long cores. And what I do, this is the top of the core. This is the top of the core. And what I do is I break off that last half inch. And that's what I use for my soil sample. That's what I send in for my soil samples. And you can see I've got almost solid clay here. <clears throat> All right, so here is the core that I'm pulling. Beautiful little cores. You can see the rocks that I'm hitting in here. And then here are the holes. And man, these holes are deep. Wow, that's beyond that. That's almost four inch core. Let's see, same thing, that is deep. So these are punching in really deep cores here. I mean, they're punching that, my friends, is about, 
shoot, that's almost four or five inch core if you wanted to pull them. So that's putting in really deep holes in here. So let me get the garden weasel. All right, so here's the garden weasel tool. Let me step back and do this for you. I'm getting real similar similar results on both of these. Which one is my favorite? I would say the Yard Butler is. Uh, it's versus a tubular construction of the Weasel. The Yard Butler is solid. Um, it's heavier, it's almost twice the weight. Uh, I'm hitting a lot of rocks and I just feel like this thing doesn't care when I hit rocks. The other thing is, is if I want to go and put in some really deep cores, that's close to five inches. I'll have to measure that. That's a, that's a big core. Um, so I can stop it if I want to stop at just two inches. I can stop at two. But if I want to go and if I want to do something really deep, then this one, I would say this is my favorite. This is the one I'll probably use. Um, again, corners, if you're doing aeration with a, with a, with a power aerator, you can get into the corners, like around patios, around my pavers out here in the yard. That's where I really use it. Let me show you. Let me show you the pavers in that situation. So, like I said earlier, um, when I was doing using the big aerator, I was trying to avoid these a little bit. So, let me just show you me punching some holes in them. It's going to be exciting. Whew. Believe it or not, that's pretty good cardio. <laughs> I don't have to do any cardio today. So I wanted to just do this one section and show you this one section. Again, this thing pull. This thing pulls the most beautiful cords. Again, take the tops off. Take the tops off. Grab the bottoms. Grab the last half inch of the bottoms. And guess what you got? A great little soil sample. Great little soil sample. So you can see what I've done here already. Just move these. Look at that. Man, that pinky. When that pinky goes all the way in, you know that's a deep hole. Man, these things are deep. That's some wonderful. I wish I could get a regular aerator to do that. So you can see how long it took me. It was pretty quick. Pretty quick just to do this whole area right in here. Really happy. Again, this is my winner. Ding, 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 ding. Applause, please. And it's made by the Yard Butler. I'll put a link up on Amazon. Whew, man, I'm getting old and fat. <laughs> Later, Doc. Yeah.